You read that check? Mm-hmm. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, That Chocolate Big with me, Erin Wells, and you read that title correctly, let's make a vegan Chick-fil-A at home. Let's get started. I don't know if it's nationwide or not, but the Chick-fil-A cauliflower sandwich is out. I've been seeing reviews on YouTube. Obviously, I cannot try it as it is vegetarian and not vegan, but I've made vegan Chick-fil-A in the past, so that's fine. We'll just run it back, and now we're going to make our own vegan Chick-fil-A cauliflower sandwich at home also i have some lion's mane mushrooms that are um either going bad or about to be bad that's the same thing that's the same thing all right guys before the video actually starts um this is the prep i did i cut the cauliflower into steak like shapes this small cauliflower gave me two steaks just cutting down vertically and then marinating them in pickle juice one hour on one side and one hour on the other side you can do 24 hours this was just a one day recipe and that's what i did Alrighty guys, now I know you're supposed to use uh, peanut oil for Chick-fil-A, but we do not have that, <laughs> okay? Uh, so we are going to be using some canola oil to fry with today, but again, I do know you're supposed to use peanut oil. I just don't have it. Groceries are high. Alright, now while our oil heats up, let's go ahead and prepare our dipping station. We're going to do a half a cup of all-purpose flour. I'm just gonna eyeball it y'all because you know I'm good at that but if you're first time cooking one half cup all-purpose flour actually let's do I'm gonna actually do a whole cup because I'm doing uh, the cauliflower and the oyster so one whole cup of all-purpose flour for me I put my powdered sugar in this protein container because I for pow powdered sugar just does not come contained so I figured hey if I have a container let's do it we're gonna do two tablespoons of our uh, powdered sugar. Okay, boom. We're gonna do about a teaspoon of paprika. I do have smoked. I don't recommend smoked paprika, but I'm out of regular. Well, hopefully that, that flavor won't be too strong, but I will use regular paprika really just for color because uh, smoked is gonna give it uh, a flavoring. We're gonna do some salt. I do have pink salt, so I don't have to use that much. Boom, some pepper. Some garlic powder. Okay, garlic powder don't wanna come out. That's all right, I'll take this whole top off. That is fine. Garlic powder. <laughs> this is totally optional. Just to give it a little bit of a kick, I'm gonna add some red pepper flakes just, just for a a, a dash of spicy for our dry batter we don't want to forget poultry seasoning because we're not using real chicken so we do need the chicken flavor added in there so about a good tablespoon of poultry seasoning as well okay now for the wet batter we're going to take some just egg i'm trying to work a little fast now y'all because the oil is just about ready so we're going to put about the equivalent of one egg in here okay boom some more of that pickle juice about a tablespoon. And we're gonna take some unsweetened almond milk, use non-dairy milk of your choice. And we're gonna add about a half a cup in there. Hey y'all, as I edit this video, you don't have to do the almond milk thing at all. The egg and the pickle juice would've been fine. Honestly, just the egg would've been fine. So it's up to you. It works the way I'm doing it, but I do think it's unnecessary steps looking back. I'm like, I think it would've been just fine for you to just use the just egg, season that, go with it. You don't have to do the almond milk nor do you need extra pickle juice because you have a whole thing of pickle juice right beside there but again my method will work let's take Just out our marinated out. cauliflower as you guys can see i flipped it over so it was an hour on hour on this side and another hour on this side i'm gonna take one of our cauliflower here we're gonna dip it in our wet and into the dry Then we're gonna do it again. This is called double battering. All right, and I think this one is ready to be fried. Let's check our oil. It is ready. Right, I also have these lion's mane mushroom guys. I've had these for a week. So if you see any yellowing on them, that is exactly why I'm gonna go ahead and cook them 
because I think they're about to go bad. Um, hopefully they're not already bad. I literally had them for a week and a day um, in a brown paper bag in the fridge. So if that's not what I was supposed to do, let me know. But I figured we make nuggets out of these. I may or may not use all of them. If you're not familiar, I did have a uh, vegan chicken recipe with these, but I usually uh, use these for a steak. So I'm gonna kind of like break these apart, like little chick, oh, y'all. Can y'all see this? Oh my, the layers are incredible. Incredible, all right? So I'm trying to make them fairly small for the Chick-fil-A nuggets. You go ahead and flip this over. Let's go back to our cauliflower real quick. I left it running in real time so I can tell you guys exactly how long I left this uh, fry for. Give this one a flip. Okay. My instinct is telling me just to add a little bit more egg just so it's really combined. So let's do the same with our, now these are gonna soak in. What I'm gonna do, so they, <laughs> you really can't marinate these, they'll get soggy. So I'm just gonna touch it, like they instantly absorb all that pickle juice, y'all. Look at that, just one dip. That's pretty much what I wanna do, is just kinda dip it in there and quickly work. These will get soggy. It's good for flavoring, but you don't want it, you don't want your end result to be soggy. So I'm just taking it, dipping it in the pickle juice, squeezing that out, put it right in here. Okay, y'all, I am back, Aaron, who's editing. So again, I really think that y'all could just dip it in the pickle juice, squeeze it out, or skip the pickle juice altogether and just dip it in the pickle juice egg mixture, but make sure you squeeze it out. That's what I did not do. I'm looking back at the footage. I should have dipped it, squeezed it again. That's why it was so soft in the middle, but you'll see that in the video. But yeah, dip it, squeeze it. Just listen, we, 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 we correcting the mistakes as we go along, okay? Now some of these have very tough ends, so I'm gonna go ahead and kind of pull those off, but I don't want my lines made to completely fall apart. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna fry all these. Oh, it's just too many and I really wanna make a steak. So I do believe the rest I'm gonna have to hold off for. As soon as you put these in the pickle juice, they absorb all that flavor and I don't want straight up pickled chicken, okay? All right, I'm gonna go ahead and flip that other cauliflower as soon as I get these uh, all coated. Let's flip the cauliflower. And this will be a good test batch because now that I think about it, I usually season my egg mixture as well. I am tripping real hard today. I have some potato buns from the store. Um, this is optional, but I am gonna toast them with some butter in true Chick-fil-A style. That's way too much butter. I'm acting like butter is cheap. That is way too much. Get this cauliflower one last flip because I do believe it is just as golden brown as it's gonna get. Flip the oysters as well. I mean, they're not oysters. <laughs> flip the lion's mane as well. They're not giving nuggets. I can tell you that right now. They look definitely like some chicken wings or like little, I don't know. Not Chick-fil-A nuggets per se, but that's okay. We're gonna go ahead and put the rest in there as well. We'll see what they taste like. That's the most important part. For my other Chick-fil-A cauliflower sandwich, I am gonna go ahead and season what I should've done the first time with some, some mm -hmm. words. I'm gonna season our egg and um, milk mixture, our wet batter with some sasson, which you should've done in the first place. We're we'll gonna put some over there as well, just cause I put this on everything. I'm gonna toast my bun with way too much butter. All right, guys, I just got a text. My taste tester is on the way, so he's gonna get the, I guess, better seasoned version of what we're doing here. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and take the cauliflower out and put it on our rack. Oh, be careful. Oh, all right, we're gonna let that kind of drip off there as well as our other lion's mane mushroom nuggets. I'm gonna go ahead and dip our second patty in the egg mixture. And then in our newly seasoned flour mixture. Well, not newly seasoned, just, you know, better seasoned flour mixture. Oh, we're getting a little low. This is why you sometimes want to put in a bag. It'll be easier to put in a baggie. All right. I do want to get the flour in all the crevices. Let's go ahead and double it up. Back into the dry. 
Oh, this one's gonna be real good. I'm a little jealous. Even though it is a little thick though also, so it might be a lot of cauliflower surrounded by flavor. <laughs> All right, y'all, let's go ahead and taste the lion's mane that we uh, that we seasoned, but we didn't re-season. Remember I added that seasoning to the oil mixture, so let's get into it. I'm so excited. I'm, I'm so excited. Let me give y'all a close up. All right, I am so very excited Ooh, and sweaty, y'all. Y'all know when I start to fry, your girl get glossy, okay? Woo! All right, but let's get into this Lion's Mane Chick-fil-A inspired nugget. That That is too long of a name, okay? That's why we say vegan Chick-fil-A. All right. Too much liquid got inside of here. That's why I got nervous about dipping into that pickle juice. It's so, it's delicious. Oh, it's delicious. Tastes like Chick-fil-A because that signature brine. But the inside, hold on. The inside is very much so soft. Very much so soft. It's so good though. Like this flavor is spot on to Chick-fil-A. Mmm. It's just you gotta dip quick. Do not marinate dip, no. The inside is really soft. But it's really good, y'all. I'm gonna do about four more nuggets. Like I said, I'm gonna save the rest for my steak. Love y'all, but <laughs> Mine's made is expensive. I pay like sixteen dollars for these bundles, so we gonna use it how I want to use it. All right. All right. Those first buns are thoroughly toasted, thoroughly uh, buttered up. So here you go. Boom. We're gonna take that first uh, Chick Fil A sandwich we did over here. We're gonna put that right on the top, and then of course you need what? Two pickles. It ain't it ain't Chick Fil A. Two two pickles. Okay. I ain't even have to dig my hand no pickle juice because we used it already, okay? So boom, 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 okay? And I do have the Polynesian sauce. I don't have the big bottle, but I have some sauce where I put, oh, mm -hmm, right here. All right, so I'm gonna take a bite. I'm so excited. Hold on, y'all, I'm sweating again. It's hot over the stove, okay? Woo! All right, so y'all ready? Okay, try to, okay. It tastes like what it is. It tastes like a cauliflower. Seasoned like Chick-fil-A. It ain't bad though. It ain't chicken, but it, it's really good. Mmm, okay. Period. Alright, so Slim is the that's just old name. Sorry. Teasy is here uh to try the vegan Chick-fil-A nuggets and the cauliflower sandwich. Alright, mm -hmm. so that's all you. Say all you. Yeah. And y'all, I tried to get it brown, but as y'all see, I fried it a long time, but it still was go. I don't know what you want to go. Okay. Anyway, so I I don't know. I got it as brown as I could, okay? Oh, you want the Mars made first? I just told him it's so soft mm. though. It, but the flavor is good, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's good. Mm -hmm. I don't even need no soft for it. It's real good. Okay, now. Period. Period. Period, poo. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me see what's up with that cauliflower. Come on. It's my real life dinner, so that's why I'm eating y'all. That's a big old sandwich, y'all. It, it is big. Mm. I'm trying to see what's sad. I can get I a nice, not. nice bite from. Right, here we go, y'all. You ready? Oh, it's hot. Mm. Oh, I saw it. Oh, 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 I saw mm. it. Oh. Mm. Y'all make this. Mm. We gonna finish eating. 
And I'll see y'all next time. Bye. <laughs> As always, make sure you like, comment, subscribe down below, and I'll see you next time. Peace. Oh, y'all thought I was playing, by the way. I really did uh, make a steak out of the leftover lion's mane, so I'm gonna have a steak and it. I'm gonna have a steak and egg sandwich for tomorrow, okay? That's, that's not this video, but I'm just saying I was serious about cooking them leftover lion's mane mushrooms. You take, see it one more time? Okay, hold on, hold on. We gotta get a real video, period.